Hey, adult leaders. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm so thankful for our team and thankful for each one of you. And so praying for you and your families and your your marriages and ministries and jobs and your kids and just thankful for each one of you and how you serve and thankful to be on this team with you. Just want to talk about three things very quickly. Number one, this coming Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. So we're having the guest speaker, Coach Gene Chizik, will be broadcast live from Hampton with Pastor Grant. So we're not going to have student groups this Sunday. Uh, and in lieu of that, two things. One, I'll be serving uh, fresh pancakes. We're going to be making pancakes from 915 to 945 over in the student building. And so I want students to come over and grab breakfast uh, maybe get a chance to meet any friends they brought before we send them on to the worship service at 945. So no student groups, but come for breakfast. And then, But number two, I want you to reach out to your group, send them a text or a group message, however you, how you reach out to them, and encourage them not only to be here, but to sit as a group. And you can sit with them as a group. Don't look at it as it necessarily a week off from student ministry, but just a week of doing student ministry differently. And so see it as a chance to sit with your group and be in service with your group and, and hang out with your students this coming Sunday without, the, without having to prepare a lesson and being ready to lead anything. Just show up, hang out with them, and enjoy that time of worship with them. And so that will be this Sunday. The following Sunday, we will pick up with our normal Sunday morning groups and back to teaching in our curriculum. Second thing is Wednesday nights. Uh, Pastor John and I have been talking about how we can bring some more uh, structure to Wednesday nights. A little bit of things a little chaotic before and after. And so I think we've got some good ideas. And one thing that I'm going to do for, for us, for our team, is get people in more defined uh, teams so that we can all work together and know that every area is covered and that we are um, we're doing. And so, because I, I just feel I feel badly that lately I think some of you have been coming, and I'm so thankful that you're here. Uh, but I th I'm afraid people are feeling kind of like they, they're not sure what they're supposed to do or if they're actually being helpful. And I assure you that you are. You are needed and wanted and helpful. And I just want to make sure everybody has a great spot that fits. So I'm going to start putting this into teams. Uh, um, every area that needs to be covered, I've got it right on the board over here. Outdoor games, tear down. Uh, what does that say? Oh, guests, first time visitors, food team, cafe team. Cafe is the $2 selling items as well as security. I'm gonna to try to put at least three people on every team. That way, if somebody's out a week, because I know not everybody can come every Wednesday night, but that week at least every week, every team will have at least one or two people on it. And, and in our best weeks, we'll have three. And so I hope this will help us uh, with making sure everything gets covered, everyone feeling like they have a, a meaningful role on Wednesday nights. And I'm just so thankful for our team. And again, remember, in between those 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 teams where you have a certain job, when when it's not time for that, just hang out with students. Just get to know them. Use this as time to play Nine Square or play ping pong or play Nintendo Switch and just hang out with them and get to know them. And I also want to encourage us on Wednesday nights to during the service to come in and sit amongst the students. Worship amongst the students. Sit amongst the students. One, so you can set a good example for them of how to worship and how to focus and pay attention, but also for some crowd control help. We have some disruptive students, and it's much less disruptive if there's an adult already sitting nearby that can, uh, you know, kind of help correct the situation without having to walk in from the back or something like that. And so I just encourage you to sit in with the students during worship, and I think they'll love having you there with them. Third thing is LS Weekend. Uh, most of you have reached out and let me know whether you can or cannot be there, but if you can be there, we will have an adult leader meeting coming up soon. I'll have the exact date and time for you. Uh, are the parent meetings on Sunday, February the 18th, right after church. And that's when we'll let parents know what's what's happening and what to expect. And we'll probably have some sort of leader meeting that same day. And so I hope that will help us. We're really looking forward to Ellis Weekend. Push that hard with your students. We're approaching 50 people total so far. I would love to see that double in the number of students that are attending. So push it hard. Tell them to invite friends. We have scholarship money. Um, so please, please encourage your students to invite friends, get themselves registered, and bring a friend with them. But uh, there's a lot to head look to be excited about. Really looking forward to the series that we're in, continuing through the month of February. We'll have a student preacher later this month. And then as we get into March with time change, being able to go back outside more and play, I think Wednesday nights will continue to be a great time. But thank you for all that you do. Looking forward to the year ahead. And we will see you this Sunday morning.